fixing the TGP issue for the EF18M. Go to Tools, get 3D Database Builder, and put the free image into the free image and the program itself into the Teradata Objects folder of the um, theater you are wanting to adjust. And here you can make you can type in the you can read the directions and type in the codes needed. But I got bat files made that do the same thing. I'm going to use that. Anyways, let's see. I guess I can do this. What it is is you make a text file, new text, and call it. <laughs> Build. Okay. And put in three D database builder build and save as build dot. Oh, this is build old. We don't need old. Just build. Okay. And extract is the same thing. You just put in this edit. You put in 3D database, 3D database underscore builder forward slash extract. Anyways, that's all those are. And we're going to extract the database so we can change the parent dat file for the EF18M. Okay, it's now extracted and we can do this. We need to add the parent data, the parent debt file mod. And what it is is I just lowered these numbers to three. So the pod would be away from the airframe. So we will just open 1091, which is the EF18M. Okay, come on, 1091. Okay, and so we'll have this file in the Mafia files eventually. And just copy, paste, replace the file in this, and go to Objects, make a new folder. Textures, and look at your last DDS, 9524, is, it is in my case, oops, I don't need to copy that, but 9524, go to textures, new, bitmap, 9524, Make it one pixel. And save it. Oops. Save. Okay. That was 9524, right? Double check. Okay, yes. And now we've got the new texture in the correct spot here, which is 1091. I mean, not the new texture, the new parent dat folder, file, and hit build. And it will add it into the database here. You could even um, do this if you wanted to. I think delete these three. And go to build. You don't have to delete them, but 
You can. Okay, so now we've got a new HDR, LOD, and text file. Make sure this says one kilobyte. That means we got the last text in there. Anyways, that's the fix for the F-18 um, target pod problem. Now the HMS is pretty simple. Just go into Falcon Editor, um, Vehicles, Aircraft, find E F eighteen M. Oops, dang it. E F eighteen M and right there there default KTO doesn't have HMS tech checked there. So you just do that, save it, and exit. So now we can test the F-18 in the theater. And the target pod issue and the HMS should be working. that F-18 M great I don't even know where it is I'm going to pause it while I look for it okay it was down here by the Canadian F-18 alright so we will do a strike and didn't automatically put a pod on here. Let me turn that music off. Okay, so the pod. We need to put a pod here and test it. And next time we will put the pod in the middle, I think is where, yeah, and test that. So, right now we'll just test it right here. Oops, did that save? Yeah, that's fine, okay. My stick is not calibrated, but we're just going to do this in freeze anyways. So, first off, we got the HMS working, and I'm going to just check the target pod real quick. Okay. Yeah, it's a uh, it works, and there's no masking. And also, just so you know, <clears throat> I did launch some missiles from the same the same weapon slot, and it still looks fine. So the weapon just comes right off of that that slot and fires normal, even with the the numbers adjusted so we can see this without masking. Okay. 
Let's test it with the other pod, the other location. Um, got to make a new TE. Strike. This time we will stick the pod in the middle and we'll put some laser guide bombs there. Okay. There I go into a steep dive again. Okay, that's not the FM, that's my stick. I need to hit the center button. Okay, we got laser guided bombs for this target and targeting pod, no masking. Okay, that's it. So, the targeting pod and the HMS, that's the, that's the fix for those.